Everybody, how are you today? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the safety of popular solubilizer and hemosophia called polysorbate 20. Okay, it's popularly called twin in several other country, but um, in the cosmetic industry, okay, we know it to be polysorbate 20. Okay, it's uh, mostly made in China, Netherlands, and other parts of the world. So now a lot of people are concerned about the safety of this very ingredient. Okay, so from the uh, standpoint of a cosmetic chemist, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this emulsifier and why it's, uh, a lot of people think it's unsafe, but I'll tell you exactly uh, why you shouldn't worry too much about it. Okay, if you ask me as a cosmetic chemist, is polysorbate 20 safe? My answer to you is it is safe when used in small amounts. Remember when you are making your beauty product, we use uh, essential oil or fragrance in small amounts, okay? Uh, up sometimes, mostly up to 2% is acceptable depending on what you are making. Myself, I use up to 1% except when I'm making room spray that I can increase it to like 2%. So because we use it in a small amount, it's considered safe by safety rating. So how is polysorbate 20 made? Okay, polysorbate 20 is made by the ethoxylation, okay, of sorbitol. Sorbitol is called sugar alcohol and is natural, okay? So after ethoxylation, okay, this is sorbitol, which is natural, you know, sugar alcohol, light and called light also. So after the ethoxylation, it turns into sorbitol, which is a, uh, it turns into polysorbate 20, which is uh, a bit orangey in color. So you can notice the difference in the color of these two ingredients, okay? So this is the raw material, sorbitol, sugar alcohol. After reacting this, okay, with uh, ethylene oxide, it turns into polysorbate 20 which is a bit yellowish in color when you look at it it has a big yellow color white sugar alcohol which is very natural has is colorless like watercolor now let me tell you a bit about this so you have we are on the same page okay polysorbate 20 is used as an emulsifier and also as a solubilizer in cream lotion you know and so on and so forth now the problem most cosmetic uh, manufacturer made is that they use it in high amounts which is considered unsafe okay it should not be used more than one percent when you're making your formulation okay and at most two percent but not i prefer one percent or even 0.5 percent depending on the amount of essential oil i'm using because basically we use this to solubilize essential oil. When I'm using it, I only use it as a solubilizer, not an emulsifier. Now, the problem, the concern most people have with polysorbate 20 is that it's a, it's a product of reacting ethylene oxide with sugar alcohol, with sorbitol, okay? And the process during ethoxylation, okay? It can ethylene oxide, okay? can become contaminated with uh, another dangerous chemical, okay? One, which is called 1,4 um, dioxane. I don't want to go into the chemistry of this, it can confuse you. This dangerous chemical is what most people uh, hate, okay? It's this chemical that can contaminate uh, sub, uh, the raw product of the ethoxylation of sorbitol, polysorbate 20 can become contaminated with 1,4 dioxane, which is considered you know, carcinogenic to animal. Now, one thing is this. After a lot of safety review and lab tests, okay, they, it was uh, discovered that the people that have side effects when using polysorbate 20 are those that use it in high amount. Okay, so if you don't use it in high amount, maybe you're still under 
1%, uh, I'm not sure, but if you use a high amount, like around 10, 20%, trust me, you're going to see a lot, especially in skincare, it can cause fungal acne. Okay, it can cause breakouts and all this when using high amounts. But when using low amount, like we use in cosmetic industry, like 0.51% or even 0.2%, you will not see any side effects. Polysobe 20 is in most beauty products. Most beauty products today use Polysobe 20. When used a moderate amount, it will not cause any skin irritation okay but high doses is the problem okay so when you are when you are exposed to any product that has high dose of polysorbate 20 your skin will break out okay so that is the issue i have with it but any product that has polysorbate 20 you may want to ask the manufacturer for the percentage of the polysorbate 20 that was used if it's under one percent trust me you'll be fine but if it's after 2% going up, like 5%, 10%, trust me, your skin may react and start breaking out and it can cause fungal acne. So please keep that in mind. So generally, it's polysorbate 20 safe. Yes, it's safe when used in moderate, low amount. Okay. According to lab tests, reproductive toxicity and, you know, developmental problem happen when used in high doses. But with low dosage that we use, like 0.5, 1%, you are good. You will not find any toxicity or any reaction to it. So this chemical is good when using low amount. That's my uh, straightforward answer to you. So keep in mind that all things are chemical. There are toxic chemical, okay, and there are, you know, safe chemical. So keep that. In. You can never, never get rid of chemical in our day-to-day -day world. Okay, as a chemist, I use chemical every day, but there are toxic chemical, there are more toxic chemical, there are less toxic chemical, and there are chemicals that are not toxic. So keep that in mind. Excess usage of polysorbate 20 will cause skin reaction, and it can cause a lot of, you know, especially reproductive toxicity. So it's very important that you know the manufacturer of your beauty product, know that they know what they're doing, okay, because a lot of cosmetic chemists today do not know what they're doing, okay? They, they have zero experience in cosmetic formulation and that's what causes a lot of issues that we have today. So generally, polysorbate 20 is safe when used in small amount. So that's my question for you. If you have any question about using polysorbate 20, feel free to drop in the comment box below. And also, I do not recommend using this as an emulsifier. I recommend using it only small amount as a solubilizer for your essential oil okay thanks for joining me today 